Eating Skittles is hard. I've got my dick stuck in the tube about 5 times now and the doctors at my local ER are getting sick of it. So I decided to make a tiny Skittles vending machine for my desk. Let's get started. So the first step is to visualize what this vending machine should look like. And after about 17 seconds of hardcore googling, I found that all vending machines are basically rectangles, so I made a rectangle in Blender and 3D printed it. Then I measured how big Skittles and various other Skittles shaped candies are to get an idea about how large the reservoir needs to be and it turns out most of these candies are about one Skittle in size. Maybe using Skittles as a measurement wasn't the best idea. Anyway now comes the difficult part, the insides of the vending machine. Contrary to popular belief there are in fact no Guatemalan men operating the machines from the inside. Instead it's usually this helical screw thing that rotates and pushes the item into the collection vat. I could have used this mechanism but I didn't want to use any electronics in this project and designed my own mechanism instead because I wanted to make this project really easy for people to do and also I don't really know how to do electrical stuff but it was mainly for the benefit of the people. So this is how my mechanism works. You have this um thing. It's got a skittle sized hole in it and the back of this thing is connected to a spring and it's basically moving on rails so when you push it it receives one singular skittle in the cavity and when you release it the spring pushes the whole thing back to its original place and the skittle drops into the collection tub and you get type 2 diabetes pretty simple right okay now that you understand how this works we need to test this out with different candies to see if this mechanism works properly skittles works m&ms works usb flash drive does not work smarties works greek national debt does not work crunchy skittles works brilliant we now have a basic concept that works let's add some finishing touches and by finishing touches i mean we're basically gonna build the whole thing now but before we do that if you have ever had milk before please consider liking and subscribing because it's so relatable right we both had milk how crazy is that so just just do it. Anyway, back to the video. First, I'm gonna paint the enclosure red because from what I've seen, most letterboxes are red. Wait, this is not a letterbox. Shit. Um, anyway, it's fine. Then we're gonna paint the inside bits white because Skittles are colorful, so you know, contrast and shit. After this, we're gonna cut out some 1mm thick plexiglass to fit on the mechanism, so the Skittles don't fall out like your teeth will after using this. Do the same thing for the main window of the vending machine, cut out some more plexiglass for the collection tub flap, and paint it black. Now just like real vending machines, we're gonna have to add some labels and decals so the customer, or in this case just my forgetful ass, knows what he's getting. So I decided to make some decals decals in Canva and printed them out on water slide paper. You can find these for very cheap at any hobby store. Okay, before we put the decals on and assemble everything, two things. Number one, you can make this for yourself for under $5 in materials. I've provided the 3D print files for this vending machine and the decals for absolutely free on my Patreon, link in the description. Number two, if you end up making these, don't make these out of resin because resin is very toxic and you'll probably die of explosive diarrhea before you die of diabetes if you do that. So use an FDM printer with food safe filaments. Now that that's done, let's put on the decals and assemble the vending machine. I filled this up with regular Skittles, Wild Fairy Skittles, M&Ms, and Smarties from when I'm craving the nostalgic taste of urinal cakes. Anyway, here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna make one of these for yourself, and please consider liking and subscribing if you wanna see more stuff like this. I highly recommend watching this video next, I think you're gonna like it. See you later, bye! You and I, we are so random, you bring the darkness to the light, split the atom, I ignore the fact that this will never last.